Hey everybody, this is Asher with a quick Dyson Sphere program guide for how to fly to other stars. First, let's take a look at technologies that you'll need. Specifically, you want to go into the upgrade tree and you'll see that one thing that you need is the drive engine tech, which is on the bottom part of the first set here. However, to unlock drive engine, you need to, un you need to have Mecha Core 4 which is actually requiring purple uh, science matrices or purple science cubes. So you will have to have that unlocked if you do want to go out in the space, which does mean this is something you will only be able to do later in the game. Hopefully, as early access progresses, they have you go to space earlier this or go to other stars earlier. If you want to have your logistics vehicles, your carriers and stuff warp, you'll need to unlock level 4 for logistics carrier engine. You can see I've neglected that technology. We'll get to them later. But to actually fly, you are going to need, let me just go to the fabrication menu here, you're going to need space warpers. Now space warpers are pretty easy to build, they just come from gravita graviton lenses. But if we go back to the tech tree once again, you unlock grav lenses way down here. So what that means is that it is, it is pretty far, pretty deep into the research tree. So you will need purple research tech, but a lot of these down here don't actually require it. But uh, one nice thing though is that once you unlock the green cubes, you'll be able to make these a little bit faster or more efficiently. But still, they're not the hardest things to get. As you can see, here's the end of my production line. Uh, what it boils down to essentially is you'll need to be able to harness and get together particle containers, uh, deuterium, and iron of all things. And I do have a limited supply here. We're not going to worry about my supply and shade today. But these are made in the assembly uh, assembly maker. And eventually you do have, this is, this is enough to warp a lot. And you can see I have some in my inventory right now. You equip it in your fuel area. So I actually have 11 space warpers here. But one important thing to keep in mind before you go, I'm kind of doing overkill with the fuel rods. I have deuter deuteron fuel rods. Um, these give you a ton of energy. You'd probably find, be fine with hydrogen fuel rods. Just know that this, this does the job okay, but you're going to need to eat a lot of these. This will give you a lot of durability. And if you can make your lenses here, you should have the resources available to make these fuel rods, so don't neglect it. Anyway, to fly off into space, and this is a little dangerous because I didn't preset this up earlier, but let's go ahead and just get up in the air here real quick. Because what you you need to go into sail mode first, press space to space, Kerbal Space Program style. And you can see we're going 200 meters per second, 300 meters per second. That's all well and good and fine and everything, and you do press shift to go faster in case you didn't know that. But if we look at the map here, you can see that there's all these bright colored objects in the sky. Some are 15 meters away. You can mouse wheel out to zoom out here. And if you have uh, one of the earlier texts unlocked, you can see resources for stars that are a few light years away, like this one, a K-type star. You can see there's crude oil, organic crystal signal detect. Organic crystal is very important because it's a pretty big bottleneck in yellow cube research, and spin form stalagmite crystal. So if you look at some of these different things, they're close. it's got to be the closer stars for you earlier in the tech tree, but they will. some of them will have quite a few different resources. So that'll help you kind of choose but see if we look at a star it's a little bit too far like this neutron star here Ooh, that's spinning really fast we don't know because it requires universe exploration level four which is something we're not even sniffing researching yet so here is our star map you can see we start kind of in the center here so we're just going to try to pick a star that's closer this seems fine uh, one of the problems though is that at least for the way early access is set up right now you are just going to have to kind of point yourself at the sky and hope for the best and say hey can I actually find the star now granted I did find it pretty well here but you push a uh, caps lock in order to actually fly now to use a warp wrapper but the very first thing you need to do is to make sure your cursor is set on here and you push W because that will put you in line pointing here if you just push caps lock you will fly off 
in the way that you're going. Now I'm going to explain what happens next because it's uh, it's going to happen and I could screw it up and y'all can laugh at me in a guide video and that's fine. Once you push caps lock you will be in warp mode and you will have to manually push caps lock again to stop warp mode. At this point there's no auto targeting that I'm aware of. Uh, you will just fly in space until you are decide to stop and hopefully you get to where you want to. You want to be close. If not you'll just be in interstellar space and then well you can point your direction once your energy recharges because you did remember to pack your lunch right i got plenty of fuel reserves here i have a lot of stuff to do and i brought a lot of stuff with me so that where i get to where i want to go i can actually lay that stuff down so you want to go prepared you want to have your belts those are crappy mk1 belts blame blame me for being bad at this game uh, i do have belts i do have sorters i have some miners i have some smelters ready i even have an interstellar logistics station although i'm not going to do anything with it yet i at least want to drop it down so i can do that later so the solar panels or any kind of power source generator is going to be the big thing you don't want to fly all the way over there and not have your materials so just to do my checklist real quick let's make sure we're pointing at the correct star we still should be um <laughs> there we go so we've done our checklist we have our materials we have our fuel we have our energy you're gonna see how fast when i cut push caps like how fast that energy fades so three two one nothing says flying into space really fast like hitting caps lock so warp speed technically you can do this without warping you can do this at 1000 or 2000 meters per second it's just going to take a very very long time but you can see our nearest astronomical object is a few light years away and you can see we actually have it on the radar here so we're at a few au let's hit caps lock to stop and just like that, very important, very, very important, as we actually have Bait and Kaidos, a star, a star over here, and also a very good game. But if we look, you'll know you're in another star system, even though we are really far away from the planets, this this type of flight will be nothing compared to uh, what you have here. But you'll have some different planet stuff. In a lot of these planets tend to have like little special factors here, like reverse rotation, kind of like Venus. And that's a plains planet that has some organic crystal on it. We have a uh, ice giant as well as an ashen uh, jealous soul, which is interesting. We'll have to explore that another time because this is a spaceflight video. And so I don't know exactly if I have all the energy in the world to make it somewhere pretty far. That's uh, seven light years away, 13 light years away. Baton Kaidos, I think, is uh, four light years away. If we look at that real quick, that's um, that's um, got some other stuff, but it's a K-type star, so that's a little boring. I just want to fly for fun to maybe somewhere that's a little different just for the sake of we're making a video. Um, like we have K-type star, K-type star, M-type star. But yeah, you want to look at your different star features, and this is where your star map at the very beginning of the game uh, really comes into play because you you will have some stuff that's spread out like you have your neutron star over here It's a black hole that I have all the way on the end here And this is not what the black hole looks like face to face. I've seen some screenshots put on reddit I'm not gonna spoil that for today because I don't want to sit and uh, Have everybody wait on that, but let's just see here. I think like a B type star or something would be interesting to go to So let's try to point to one of those 7.4 light years away 13 light years away 6.5 Alcor, that seems fine. So we're just going to warp one more time. And once again, this is where it's important to bring snacks because these these uh, Deuteron rods are really nice because they're not that difficult to make by the time you get this far in the tech tree. And you can see that fuel chamber generation percentage is 300% with energy 600 megajoules. I've only used two of these. And now every time you warp, another thing to keep in mind, every time you warp, you will use one of these. So we're gonna caps lock again. That means you need to have enough to get back. You don't just wanna warp there with one and uh, be stuck. So it's very important to remember your flight controls right now while you're flying. Wanna make sure Alcor's in our target reticule here. Space to go up, alt to go down, or you can use the arrow keys. Um, but yeah, we are uh, pretty close to over here and this is just gonna be a total surprise to us 
as we have a few light years one and just a few AU away, the auto save's kind of messing with me. Looks like we have a multi-star system, in fact. Well, no, we have a we are in a little star cluster. But we have two light years, B type star, B type star. Like I said, we could fly down to the black hole, but that's that's a little spoiler even for this video. But once you get into the star system you want to go to, it's pretty much space flight, just like anything else. You just want to make sure that you have all of your appropriate energy here as you can see i have a lot of upgrades and this is still strenuous like i do have these fuel rods but they do take time to regenerate your energy so you want to rely on your other tried and true things like if we go over here we have alcor one with coal and a sulfuric acid ocean because it's a volcanic ash planet so the benefit of flying to horizontal rotation, that's fun. Uh, but the benefit to flying to other planets is obviously other resources plus the joy and satisfaction you get from actual space and from exploration here. Planet Gobi, or which is a Gobi, well, a Gobi planet. I was about to call it Planet Gobi. Uh, it's Alcor 3. And it doesn't even have titanium, so what good is it? And then we have two moons here. So there's just all kinds of... Uh, variety of good stuff here kimberlite ore which is fun but some of these this is how you get some resources that don't necessarily start in the game so yeah that's pretty much your summary here of course if you want to get back what you're going to have to do is point yourself the other way fortunately it looks like places that you've been are already highlighted so that's really convenient it's just getting to the places first you got to kind of watch the night sky here but all i'd have to do is push w tab turn around and fly back and we'd be good but you all get the idea and i kind of want to keep this short so this is asher this is how you fly to other stars it does take a lot of work up the tech tree and it's early access so this could always be changing but thank you for watching that's it for now feel free to leave any thoughts in the comments if you have anything else you want to say and also i love saying hello to other people who come by through the channel Hope this was helpful. Feel free to uh, give any additional information or answer any questions. I love getting fact-checked or answering questions as well. So thanks for watching. Take care.